what's happening, gang, and welcome to another episode of... Topic with Bob. Today's episode will be another episode in my series on extended techniques on the trumpet. Extended techniques are any of a number of different ways of playing the instrument that extend beyond the conventional approach to playing the trumpet, and they will give you a wide potential palette of timbral colors. Extended techniques are used frequently in jazz, blues, funk, free improvisation, and many other different styles of music, and I always have a lot of fun trying out different approaches of playing the instrument. This episode, I would like to talk about one of my favorite extended techniques, multiphonics. All right, you are probably aware that the trumpet is a monophonic instrument. That means that the trumpet can play one note at once. Now, there is a way of playing two notes simultaneously on the trumpet, but unless you've got two faces and two trumpets on hand, the best way that I know of to do such a thing is to hum while playing the trumpet. So the first thing that you wanna to do to practice multiphonics is to buzz into the trumpet while humming. It's almost like playing a kazoo. All you gotta do is hum a note and play the trumpet at the same time. Right off the bat, I find it's much easier to create the multiphonic effect with the lower notes on the trumpet. This has to do with the harmonics and the overtone series and the audible range of sound in the human ear. But I think that you'll find that in the lower register, you're gonna get a more clear multiphonic effect. And here is what it sounds like. Gives you a rough tone. It's two notes at once battling each other for dominance in the sphere of trumpet sound. Now, the one thing that you can do to try to control the multiphonic effect is to try to be able to hum at a certain pitch while you're holding the drone on the trumpet on a different pitch. So what you can try to do is hold that low C, that's where I like to start, hold the low C and just practice moving the notes around, humming different notes through the spectrum of notes. All right, that's gonna sound a little bit like this. All right, at first that multiphonic effect can sound very chaotic, dissonant, and pretty brash. But what you can do is as you continue to practice humming into the trumpet to create the multiphonic effect, you can gain a little bit of additional control over your vocal cords and be able to try to create intervals with the sound of the trumpet that will enable you to get a more sonorous tone out of the instrument or control the beats and the rhythm and the dissonance between your voice and the trumpet sound. So, the first way to practice this that I've found uh, useful is to start off by playing the low C on the trumpet and then try to hum either an octave or a unison with that pitch. Now, I find that with my own voice, it's much easier to hum a, uh, an octave, to be able to hum an octave below the pitch of the trumpet, but you may find that it's easier to hum in unison. Either way, your goal is to try to find the same pitch that you're playing on the trumpet with your voice. And that may sound something like this. Once you can match the pitch either in unison or in octaves with the trumpet, then you can practice singing a major scale while holding that fundamental pitch on the trumpet. So I'm gonna hold a C, find that C, and then I'm gonna practice singing up the major scale to hear the different intervals that I can get with the multiphonic effect. So you can hear as I climb the scale from the C below the C that I'm playing on the trumpet all the way up to the unison C that I'm playing with the trumpet, I'm going to get a slightly different kind of vibration from the intervals created between the sound of the trumpet and the sound of my vocal cords. So as you continue to practice that approach, you'll be able to hear the sort of color that you're trying to get out of the instrument. Uh, what you'll notice is that as I reach that unison, all of the beats, the sort of conflicts between the sound of the trumpet and the pitch that I'm singing go away and you get a more flat level pitch. But oftentimes with the multiphonic effect, what you're really going for is that sort of rough dissonance 
uh, that created by the interval between your voice and the sound of the trumpet. So what you can do is take the uh, major scale or other different scales, try to sing them while playing different pitches on the trumpet, and really try to get a feel for the different approaches that you can use to create different timbres with the multiphonic effect. Oftentimes what I try to do with the multiphonic effect is to sing about a fifth or a fourth below the pitch that I'm playing on the trumpet, which is going to create a bit of a rough tone on the instrument, which I can then use as a part of various different improvised lines. Here, let me give you an example. Alright gang, and there you have it, a little introduction to the extended technique of multiphonics on the trumpet. Give it a try yourself, play yourself a drone note on the trumpet, and try out singing different intervals to try to get a feel for what those different intervals will sound like timbrely on the instrument. You can have a lot of fun incorporating these sounds into your improvisations, and just like with growling and flutter tonguing, you can incorporate the multiphonic technique with the plunger mute and other mutes to get an even wider possible uh, timbral palette on the trumpet. All right, gang, I hope that helps in your quest for trumpet excellence or at least a little trumpet weirdness, which I always appreciate. If you like the show and you like to keep up with what we're doing, you can subscribe, tell your friends, or if you got any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. All right, gang, thanks for checking it out. We have a wonderful time practicing, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, folks, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you found it useful or informative or just entertaining, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you got any questions or if this video helped you out, or be sure to send it along to any of your trumpet playing friends. We're currently offering lessons online and you can visit our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com. We're also offering lessons in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. Be sure to send us a message and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. You can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram at, at Bob Spellman, on Facebook at Bobby Spellman Music, or on Twitter at Bobby Spellman for some more trumpet fun. <laughs> Lastly, if you found this video useful and you'd like to give a little donation to the cause, you can find us on Venmo at Ridgewood Music. All tips will go to the creation of more videos like this one, and we really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, gang. We'll see you on the next one, and happy practicing. <laughs>